sleep, an essential function needed for your body and mind to recharge. It's no secret that it is one of the most important processes for human life, and lack of it can lead to some serious consequences. Hallucinations, an increased risk of heart attacks, or in some serious cases even death. Sleep deprivation has also been a very common torture tactic over time, very notably in the Japanese prisoner of war camps. And this, what I've just told you, is only a minute amount of reasoning to why sleep is so important. And today we're going to be ignoring absolutely all of that and seeing how long we can go without it. This is definitely a challenge I would not recommend you try, but we are... Okay, to be honest, we're just complete f***ing morons for doing this. Me versus my housemate, How. Who can go the longest without sleep? Let's find out. My last night of sleep. I'm going to enjoy this. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. 12am. The challenge for both of us starts now. As you can expect, the start of the challenge was extremely easy. Fresh off sleep, fully energised, I just got on with my usual day-to-day -day activities. We are six hours in. Uh, obviously, I'm feeling absolutely fine. So far, it's just like a normal day. I'm not a joy ride. The day went on and I carried on doing my normal stuff and eventually hit 12 hours in. Still not feeling very tired, which is good. Got a bit of sugar in my system just to keep the energy up. Edited a YouTube video and played some video games and then hit 18 hours in. No caffeine has been consumed yet. Still feeling relatively fine. At this point, I felt like a freaking superhuman. I'd been up for so long and I was still feeling awesome. In addition, the sun started coming up, which was good for staying awake. Maybe this challenge was gonna be super easy. It's 10 a.m. I'm starting to get tired. Oh, how I was wrong. At about 10 a.m., it really hit me. I was laying in bed, barely keeping my eyes open. I'm just checking you're still awake. I'm dying. I didn't think it would be this hard. Three, two, one. We're 24 hours in! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm too tired for this. How are you feeling? To sum up, I'm very tired. To help me, I need to have my first caffeine intake of the day. So let's make a coffee. <sighs> you know what, boys? Screw it. We're gonna destroy this challenge. Me, we, are, we, we can do this. Destroy this challenge. Let's do it. Come on, we can do it. Oh, oh I'm not good. Yeah, it wasn't long until I was f***ed again. The coffee did bring me energy for several hours, but eventually it did wear off and I was back to square one being absolutely knackered. I needed to find another way to wake me up, otherwise this challenge would be over sooner than I thought. Freezing cold shower, hopefully this helps. As much as that was absolutely f***ing horrible, it worked, I feel, I feel more awake. And I was deadly serious, I felt amazing. With this new high of energy, I decided to smash a workout. No exaggeration, at this point in the challenge, I didn't feel tired at all. With 33 hours into the challenge, I feel alright to be fair. I feel fine to be honest. Like, I've gone through stages of being yeah, tired. Yeah, so, started off fine, then extremely tired, yeah. and now I feel okay so we're gonna make the most out of this go out now and it's kind of tactical as well because if we're out we're not likely to fall asleep True. yeah let's let's do it as soon as we got into town we got a bite to eat and to be honest the tiredness was kind of catching up with me i decided to go into a club it's got loud music hoping that would wake me up i had never wanted to leave a place so badly Okay, to conclude, way too tired for that. I think it's time for coffee number two of the challenge. <laughs> and back on my PC I went, somehow trying to occupy my mind so I don't fall asleep. It was getting really tough. I feel really bad. I, like, I genuinely feel awful. I'm banging headaches. I might have to call it a day soon. My eyes are eagerly tried to shut, but I am trying to push through. Neck on neck, me and Hal were both exhausted. I, I genuinely didn't know who was gonna win this. It's 4.30. I've heard absolutely nothing come from Hal's room for like the past 30 minutes. So my guess is he's fallen asleep. Yeah. 
one man down. It was just me left, and I'm gonna be honest, I felt horrible. Okay, so, 610. I really, really, really do not think I can do much more of this. I just, I just feel, feel crap. I tried to go on for as long as I physically could, but there was one point where I just put my head back for a second, and, well, I think you can see what happened. I just passed out. In total, I lasted 42 hours and 22 minutes. Alright uh, boys, it's the next day. Yeah, I just woke up on my chair this morning uh, without realising that I'd fallen asleep. I can't remember that much from last night, from when I was awake, but the thing I do remember is stuff was faint in my eyes. It was kind of blurry. I felt, I never felt that disgusting. Not a fun time. Um, but hey, I won the challenge, so f*** you how. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button and maybe also consider subscribing. And lastly, if you want to get any supplements like protein powder, creatine, pre-workout, head over to my protein, which is the first link in the description. Use my code Joe at checkout, which will save you 37% off your entire order. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it also helps me out as well. Cheers, guys.